All right, guys, we're in San Francisco. Uh, let's take a quick detour before we get to the hotel, and I'm going to take Ket down Lombard Street, which is the windiest street in the world. <laughs> She's going to love this. Come on, I want to go down there. There's a lot of tourists blocking my way, though. <laughs> Okay, this is the windiest street in the world, they say. Oh. Look at that view, though. Well, that's Lombard Street. Checked off the bucket list early. Look at the view down there. Quick tower. That's the problem, though. A lot of people that live here complain about the tourists coming here. It's like, well... Don't live here then. Don't don't buy a house on this street. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Right, we're nearly at the end of the windiest road in the world. I don't know how true that. Oh look, there's another uh, one of those automatic cars over there. All right, that's good. We're done. All right, that's Lombard Street checked off. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, you may guess where I am. <laughs> for you follow Californians or people of America. This is the famous San Francisco Fisherman's Wharf sign. Yep. Me and Kat are down here at Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, we've got two days here in San Francisco. Um, and today we're gonna be um, heading out. We're gonna, we're gonna take a nice little walk along the front here. Um, and then we've got a 12 o'clock um, boat ride out to Alcatraz so this video will be mostly about Alcatraz and then uh, maybe the next video after this I'm going to do um, uh, Fisherman's Wharf also Pier 39 I think we might break those up into two videos we'll see how the day goes see how much content we get and how much battery I've got anyway welcome guys to San Francisco let's go check it out oh look this is one of these driverless cars Waymo I think you may have to download the app look they have no driver <laughs> Interesting. We should go for a ride on this. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nice day down here, guys. But we it's like the middle of the week, actually. This is the day before Thanksgiving, actually. So I don't know how busy it's going to be today. But the lady in our hotel said that the um, the Alcatraz uh, boat ride is actually fully booked today. So it should be should be good, a good day out. Busy day, so. Yeah, people put put the locks. Mm -hmm. They write they write on the locks and they put them on. Yeah. You want to lock it? Huh? Uh, I'll just get rusty, I think. Yeah. Well, we're not going to swim over there. You want to swim? No. It saved me some money. If you want. No. I don't remember this being here. This must be just new. Or maybe it's here for Christmas. I don't know. If, if any local San Francisco people know, put a comment below. Sky Star, Fisherman's Wharf. Ticket prices. Oh, $19. Let's go and ask him how, how long we go around for, how long the ride lasts, for 19 bucks. $19 <laughs> for 10 minutes. That's $40 for both of us for a 10 minute ride. I paid that much to go to the Alcatraz. I think we're gonna get more value for money going to the island actually, and the boat ride. Yeah. All right, let's keep going this way. It's a lot of money, what do you think? Huh? You want to go around in circles? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a, a cheaper option actually for you. Come this way. What? You want to go around in circles? Yeah. Come over here, all right? <laughs> you trust me? Yeah. Yeah, this is better for you, I think. It's free. Free? Yeah, mm. and you can go around in circles. It's the same thing, really. Just go, <laughs> Just go around in circles. <laughs> Saving money and enjoying ourselves. <laughs> Keep going, you can do it. That's it, you got it. <laughs> oh my god. Try again. Now you. <laughs> Go on. Oh, I'm good now. 
Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe one minute. <laughs> uh, I hope you don't get seasick, actually. When was the last time you went on a boat? Oh, we were in uh, in Thailand, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, we're gonna go. We're gonna go down this way. Because uh, Pier 39 is over there. Let's go to Pier 33. Walk more, 10 minutes. So, so, how are you going to get to the Some turn, my yo 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 to board Captain Kirk no food or drink this is us this is us 12 uh, no I don't have any I actually left my guns at home today yeah I don't have any guns I don't really partake in that American tradition of owning a gun uh, I've never needed one all my life so I probably won't start now actually Encounter steep walkways, uneven surfaces, and tripping hazards on Alcatraz Island. Oh, watch your head. All right, let's get going here. Yeah, they got snacks. Go check out Alcatraz. So the boat trip, that was only, it's only about 10 minutes to go over. It's not too bad actually. And uh, you can come back when you want. The, the guy said that the boats leave here every 30 minutes. So you can spend one hour, two hours. You could spend all day if you want to just explore five, six hours, but just make sure you come back on the last boat. Otherwise you'll be stuck here all night. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's really busy today. All right, let's get up to the sale house. On the sounds of the slammer, it'll be a solder opening and closing demonstration. And what's going to pick up your audio tour if you follow this path on your right, all the way to the hole until you get to the prison entrance. Got it. So it's going to go yeah. straight through the Yeah, you got this, the map. Yeah. Do they have it in Thai language? No. No. Well, they've got pictures. That's good enough. <laughs> all right, let's yeah, go. Yeah. We go up this way, as you can see up here, there's one of the, uh, okay, you see up here, it's one of the guard towers. Yeah. So if you try to escape. Can we go in the upstairs? No, they won't let you climb up there, but, but yeah, that's where the guard tower was, or is still standing. Yeah, so we're here right now. 
here. On the dock. Yes, and then we've got a zigzag uh -huh. up here and then that's uh -huh. when you get up into the main okay. jail area. So the, the over here was where like the staff uh -huh. would live. Uh -huh. And actually um, kept families would live here. And they had a school here for children. They would, the whole families lived on this island. Yeah, oh. yeah. And then uh, if they wanted to go back to the mainland, they'd have to get a boat back. But yeah, they, they had a school here, hospital. They all came, 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 came caboodle. Yeah, there was a hospital in here too. A little bit cold now, a little bit chilly. So over here, darling, this is um, this is like this is a a workshop and schoolhouse. Like I said, they would have children that lived there with their family. No, yeah, the employees' children they would stay here and go to school here every day. A bit depressing. What do you think? <laughs> What do you think like about a, that? Like a family stay in jail too. Yeah, <laughs> basically the kids are in jail. I mean, school is jail anyway, isn't it? That's how I felt when I was a kid. Yeah, I wonder how many... I wonder how many of them kids actually knew what was going on. Probably one, didn't know why they were on this island. Probably thought it was quite normal. And yet you've got the most worst criminals in history in America. Murderers, rapists, psychopaths. Only in the next building. <laughs> Probably didn't even know. Yeah, you know that word? Morgue? That's where the dead people are. After you're dead. After you die, they put you in this room. Ready for... Yeah, ready, ready for collection. I don't know if they cremated them there. Or prisoners die, they would cremate them there or take them back to the mainland possibly. But I know it's uh it's the dead it's the dead centre of the island. I know that people are dying to get there. Alright, that's enough of my stupid jokes. Alright, this way. Yeah. So house entrance. Hmm. Scary. Yeah, so this is the main shower room. If you look over here, yeah, all the all the prisoners would come here, and they would just stand in in there and shower every day. There was no privacy. You just stand there with all the other men and shower. And now everyone's lining up to do the audio tour. All right, let's go up to the let's go up to the main house. That shower actually reminds me of uh, Shawshank Redemption. When they're in the jail and that guy is lathering up and he says, Hey, has anybody got to you yet? I could be a friend to you. Anybody get to you yet? Hey, we all need friends in here. I could be a friend to you. <laughs> Hard to get. I like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> First time for you, right? What do you think? So look, Kat, this is it. We're staying at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> All they have is a bed, is, a toilet. It's good more than Thailand. It's better than Thailand? Thailand. Oh yeah, I guess in Thailand there's about 30 people in one room, right? Over here, Kat, you see this? These are all the levers. And when they wanted to open the doors for the prisoners, yeah. they would pull this, and then all the doors automatically slide open, right? And then, they and then they would shut them up again. But everyone had to be in or either out. If you look up here, this was like the the, the uh, security guards' uh, viewing system, viewing gallery, right? And so, you see, do you see the little holes? Mm -hmm. That's where they would put a gun through. So they had complete view down each aisle you see and if anybody misbehaved or fighting broke out they could, they could sit up there and just shoot you down there yeah. look at that they have three floors one two three yeah three floors but they said the other thing is kept 
you get priority, right? So the longer you stay here and more important you become, you get, you get to be on the top. You know why? Because you can get a view. That was the best they could get for their window view. So they could look back out to real, like, real life. But if you were down here, you couldn't see anything. They don't, you won't see anything, yeah. Uh, just one minute, guys. I, I want to get some food. It's getting a bit hungry in here. Hello? 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 There's no cell service here. These bars, when that man pulls from that one end, they all, they all come open together at the same time. Yeah, we should watch that movie, The Rock, actually, with Sean Connery. Welcome to The Rock. I want to you want to poo? I see and poo. Everyone look at you. Yeah. Yeah, there's no privacy. I mean, if you sat there and did a, did a crap, right? You've got, you got your neighbour looking at you across there. <laughs> I mean, the only privacy you had when the lights went out, I guess, at night time, but yeah. Alright, guys, so we're finished with the Holiday, Holiday Inn just for two nights here in San Francisco. Yeah. Let's go check out the Haroon. <laughs> I like what they've done with the place, but I think maybe a few posters on the wall. <laughs> maybe get a spoon, I could probably dig through to the next <laughs> next cell and say hello to my friend. Come on, maybe someone is <laughs> locked. Yeah, this is the visitation. So when people come to visit you, law, maybe a lawyer or a family member, once a month, you would, you would sit here. And I think they used to have a little phone but then, yeah, there's no... You just have to talk to the person. All right, mate. How's the dog doing? Good? How's Charlie doing at school? All right, great. We'll see you next month, then. <laughs> George Heck. Uh, prisoner number 619. So he did a lot of paintings. Yeah. And that's how they would pass their time, really. you got to think, there was no... Um, there was no iPad. <laughs> back then. <laughs> yeah, I think they had them to yeah, they had them to smoke back then too. But they could read books and draw pictures and paintings, but that was it. Maybe I don't know if gambling was allowed, probably not. This is this is what I wanted to show you actually. Oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you a quick story now, right? But what happened was um, they made a movie about this as well. Good. Clint Eastwood, you know that movie? Escape from Alcatraz. Mm -hmm. So, these two guys actually dug a hole in the back of their cell. Mm -hmm. And then they, they made fake heads and then they escaped out. Really? Yeah. But no one ever knows the, to this day whether they actually made it to mainland or not. But they, I guess that once they got down to the water and swam across that it was so cold or so rough that it might have drowned but no one ever knows I mean, no one knows to this day whether they actually escaped or not but yeah yeah they actually over time dug a hole out of the back of their cell and at night time they escaped out so you see you see down there mm -hmm. in the corner mm -hmm. they have like a they made this out of paper and cardboard oh, and they painted green. it green mm -hmm. they made it look fake mm -hmm. So at night time, they would take it away and carry on digging. Mm -hmm. And then in the daytime, they would put the fake wall back. Mm -hmm. The night when they were ready, they put the, they put the fake head mm -hmm. in the bed mm -hmm. with clothes mm -hmm. to make it look like they were sleeping. Mm -hmm. And that's when they escaped. Mm -hmm. See, when, when, the, when, the, when the guard came mm -hmm. to look around, you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even guess, would you? Mm -hmm. You'd just go, oh, they're sleeping there. So they had workshop for create crafts, so they would get paper, you know, like paper mache. They would make paper and make it hard, and then they would paint. So, and look at this one, same. Look at that. They dug that hole. 
Yeah, so there's the story there. Okay. June the 11th, 1962, three men escaped. And they used a spoon. And if you look over here, once they got through the back of the cell, they climbed up the pipes and got to the roof. Just had to make sure I showed Kat that. If you get a chance, people, go and watch Clint Eastwood's movie, uh, Escape from Alcatraz. I think there's other movies as well, like The Birdman of Alcatraz, but uh, yeah, Escape from Alcatraz it is a bit old and dated now and a bit slow, but um, if you're interested in that, that's a good movie to watch. Yeah, I, I like to think and hope that actually those guys did escape. Um, well, I guess we'll never know. So, okay, this is the, um, this was the control room mm -hmm. that controlled all the security, uh, the communications room for radio, keys, uh, and see a, you see a gun over there, right? Uh, this is where, also, Ket. Yeah, long time ago. Yeah, where? Yeah, fire extinguisher. Look at these old microphones. But Ket, this is Ket, Ket. So this is where they would bring in new prisoners as well. So now we're entering the recreation yard, Ket, which is the exercise yard, right? When prisoners were allowed to come outside to play games or walk around, exercise, talk to each other, this is where they would come if you were, if you were good and behaved. Yeah, they would play baseball out here. Also, they would just sit on the steps. Get some sun, sunshine in their face. Mm. It's alright, guys. I've been here 30 years now. The other prisoners let me sit at the top here it's okay hold on i'm gonna show you the views so apparently i remember when i did the audio tour here before they purposely built these steps um i think there was some hierarchical importance about prisoners that you know the longer you served or the more well behaved you were you could sit up higher right there was that structure to it too but i think what i remember in the audio tour they said the prisoners would sit up here and look across the bay and they would hear the sounds from san francisco the laughing the music playing the traffic the boats going past i'm sure there was airplanes and it kind of reminded the prisoners that you know, I've screwed up. I made a big mistake. I want to be back out there in, in normal life, right? And I think it was a deterrent really to sort of make them think about why they were here. And the, the, the enjoyment of, from the noise of the people laughing and joking over there, right? And they just wanted to get back out. But yeah, uh, that's what I heard in, you know, that was what the audio tour said. Yeah, but it's quite interesting. That's the dining room where they ate every day. Breakfast in bed was not included staying here on the rock. All right, guys, uh, I think that's us done for the Alcatraz tour. Did you have a good time, Ket? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ready to get some Thai food? Yeah. yeah you All right, I promised the Thai food today. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, I think I'm going to end this video here and I might separate the uh, Pier 39 Fisherman's Wharf in another video now because I'm starting to run low on battery, so I need to find a restaurant and charge this phone up. All right, well, thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed our tour of Alcatraz. Uh, stay tuned, like, and subscribe because we're going to be going to... Uh, we're going to be driving... I think we're going to be on going to the cable car ride, doing cable car rides tomorrow. Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. All right, stay tuned for that. All right, bye-bye.